Well, I I'm trying, but um, you know, it's I'm not just I'm not just one person. I my personal actions have an impact on other people, and my actions are magnified by the example that I set for other people. So it's important for me, just because I feel like I'm doing the right thing, to reduce the amount of plastic that I'm using. But it's even more important for me to speak out and to explain to my family and friends when they ask without nagging them. <laughs> and, um, and that's, you know, that's the reason that I have a website and a blog and I connect with other organizations and, and other people because it, the problem is bigger than one person, but I think most of us can start with ourselves and it's really important for each of us to look at our own personal plastic footprint and ask ourselves, what am I doing to contribute to this problem and how can I stop that and start being part of the solution. I'd like to jump on that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to give us a, a talk a couple of years back and one of the people in in the audience, and actually they were not in not there um, during the live audience, they saw a rebroadcast, but they were in a position of power. And to make a long story short, they were able to convert a large industrial campus with over 4,000 employees from plastic water bottles to hydration stations. Now, I had no idea. I didn't hear about that for about a year after that occurrence. But one person, in this case, I just happened to give a talk, but one person can impact an awful lot of people in a very positive way if we're yeah. giving good information so people can make good decisions. And it doesn't have to only, it doesn't have to be giving a talk. Not everybody is um, capable or wants to stand up and speak in front of strangers. But, um, you know, just taking your own bag with you to the store, taking your own containers for, to bulk bins, bringing your own bottle, all of those actions, if other people see you do it, it becomes part of the norm. And, um, oh, I just want to mention there's a really cool new app called Tracks Action. You can find it on Facebook. Well, it's, it's only on Facebook so far. And it's where people can get rewarded for bringing their own bag or bottle or cup or straw, reusable straw to um, when when they go out and I think it's really cool because it, it, it's even getting people who don't necessarily consider themselves to be environmentalists to get involved um, and really it's a, it's about peer pressure so that's an, that's another way that our individual actions can make a greater difference yeah and, and I just like to add one point um, you know I, I think beyond just our individual actions maybe inspiring others around us which is absolutely imperative and, and I think both Bill and Beth touched on it you know our individual actions when taken collectively yield very real uh, benefits um, but we, we shouldn't forget that we as consumers each of our decisions that we make in the marketplace send very real messages to retailers and the larger industry. Um, when we make a conscious decision not to buy something because of the way it's packaged or because of the XMS materials used, you know, that is a direct economic signal we send. So it's not just about, you know, the the you know the feel good or, or the inspiring messages we're sending to others which are absolutely critical but there is a very real economic message that we send as well when we make decisions in the marketplace yeah I want to say that um, we what uh, regarding the marketplace we're not only sending messages to companies that might be producing things that are less than environmentally friendly mm -hmm. but we're also supporting companies that are trying to make positive absolutely. change and a lot of those companies are small businesses, not giant corporations. Mm -hmm. And so the more we can support them with our dollars, the more we can support innovation and people who are thinking a different way. 